Hello, good morning or good evening. I'm Snack Attack and welcome to today's video. Today I'm going to teach you how to do these dual interlocking propellers propelled by an electrical motor. They can be used in a ton of different builds including this twin turbine electrical plane. You can also control this thing. Let me see if I can get on it without falling off here. There we go. It controls pretty well for the most part, and as you can see, it's got the weapons on it. On this particular one, I have one laser with two individual mounted cannons on each side. To turn to the left, you just turn to the left. If to turn to the right, you just turn to the right. And if you want to rapidly lose height and descend, you just rock it back and forth like so. See? And then you just kick it up a notch when you want to pick it back up again. The two main pieces that you're going to need from this that you can't get from dispensers, you're going to get over at the Gemimic Shrine. So let's head over there and we'll pick them up from there. Alright. So once you're inside of the shrine, you're just going to need three either so either like weapons like swords or spears or three shields to fuse with. And then we're going to fuse one motor and two propellers to items. So we're going to wait for it to drop another one. And with these, let's head back over to Terrytown. So over here in Terrytown, we're going to come over to this little fella here, Pelison. And for 20 rupees a piece, we're going to break down the shields to remove the pieces from them. And then once you break that down, they're over there. So we're going to grab that, take this, slide it over to the side, and then repeat this for the other two. All right. And with that, once you have all three of these, we're just going to glue these together and we're going to carry them down to the construction site. Alright, now that we're over here, what we're going to need from here, uh, we're just going to need one of these wagon wheels over here. I'm also going to recommend you drop out a stake from your inventory, and then you're going to need a shock emitter uh, to power everything. So to start, let's take this and put this in the ground as the base for us to build from. Uh, detach everything. We're going to take the generator, or we're going to take the motor, and we're going to glue it to the stake so that we have some room to work with. Then take your first propeller, and we're going to just glue it to the front here. Simple as that. From here, take the shock emitter, flip it around, and we're going to glue it to the back like so. This gives it some room to work with, and you're trying to make sure that the shock emitter is tall enough that the propeller can still spin with using that as the base. If it can't, like this one can't, you just have to move it up a bit and adjust. Alright, there we go. So let's turn this off. Oh god. So turn that off, uh, then grab the wagon wheel over here, and then we're going to glue the other propeller like so. So then we want to take it, and we're going to grab it by the wagon wheel, and we want to glue the wagon wheel to the top, so not so the spokes, but the wheel itself glue to the base here, and we give it enough room for it to be the free spinning base of the propeller. So if you glue it like so... It should work. So let's test it out real quick. Make sure this build works. And like that, you've got your dual propeller engine. It's not too hard to build with. Uh, I do recommend if you have auto build, saving an auto build of this, maybe removing the stake and reattaching the shock emitter to save an auto build of this. I already have one saved. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to recreate one of these. Do this, and then we're going to spin this around like so. 
Then the other parts we're going to need for this flying machine. Over here, we're going to find the one cart and the one sled along with the steering stick. So we're going to grab these and take these with us. Over here, you'll also find a second sled that you can use for this, so you won't have to use one of your own. There we go. Uh, the other things you're going to need to bring yourself are three construct heads, two cannons, one beam emitter, and one stabilizer. There we go. So to assemble the plane, we're going to take the cart, we're going to flatten it out there as a base. We're going to take the sleds, turn them to the sides, and we're going to put wings on either side. Uh, the main purpose for this is to give the propellers some room so they don't smack into each other, because if you just put them on either side of this, they're just going to smack into each other and they're not going to spin properly. So next, take a stabilizer, flip it upright, and glue it to the front. And next, we're going to prepare the weaponry. So take a construct head, flip it vertically, take your cannon, and we're going to glue it to the top like so. If you glue it more forward like this, when you glue them to the fronts of the wings over here, it will scrape on the ground and there's a higher chance that they're going to break off. But you can arrange them like this if you'd prefer. And lastly, we're going to do the same thing with the final construct head. We're going to take the construct head, arrange it uh, so it's facing forward, and then we're going to glue the beam emitter right to the top of it. So then we're going to take it and we're going to glue the beam emitter to the front and the bottom of the stabilizer like so. We're going to grab one of the cannons, we're going to glue it to the side here. And then take the other one and do it on do the same on the other side. And there you have your weapon rearranged. So now we're going to detach this from the stake, and we're gonna grab the electrical stabilizer, arrange them so they're facing behind, and we're gonna glue them to the sides of the wings. If it flips up like this because it's holding, it can't hold itself down, don't attach the stake because this will be at the build limit. Instead, hit rewind like so to rewind it back to the place it was naturally resting. And since that was its original location, it'll just continue to stay there. And with it being held like that, we're going to take this and glue it to the same spot on the other wing. It didn't flip that time. Nice. So then it No, not like that. Oh no. Oh no. If you mess up like this, it's fine. You can reattach things pretty easily. And if things get too out of hand, you can always use auto build to fix major mess ups. So now we're gonna try and reattach this, arrange it so it's facing backwards and glue it to the outer part of the wing. And lastly, take the steering stick that you'll use to steer it, and you can either position it at the back or position it at the center. It's your choice. For this one, I'm going to position it a bit further up. And from here, you can just hop on to take it out for a test drive. Something is wrong with the other- oh, the wings are crooked. Oh, that's a thing to notice as well. Make sure if you have a problem like that, you do want them to be similar. They don't have to be identical. Uh, so we're going to take this, flip it over, and try and arrange it like we did on the other one. Which is, we glued it like so. And then we're going to reattach the wing and try that again. There we go. So now we're going to take it for a test flight. Hey, okay. And we have liftoff! There we go. Like that. Just like that, you can throw this thing together. It's not too difficult, and this is a pretty good flying vehicle that controls really well, and for the most part, it's pretty energy efficient. But, yeah. Uh, I hope you guys- I hope somebody found this build useful, and I hope somebody can make use of these wings, uh, or 
I hope somebody can make use of these propeller engines. If somebody has any ideas or if somebody comes up with anything really interesting, share your builds down in the comments below and I'll try and give a shout out to anything that seems really cool. Uh, the other thing I'd like to recommend is uh, if you're interested in more things like this, go and check out the Hyrule Engineering subreddit. There, you get to see so many cool things that people come up with like this. Uh, I've seen so many interesting things that I'm going to try and show off how to build on here, and I'm going to try and share off any mechanics like these propellers right here that I learned that could be useful to anyone. Uh, but with that out of the way, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope to catch you in the next video, and take care.